So as everyone knows, between COVID-19, all the tensions in the world because of all the stuff going on with the cop killings and stuff in cities that shouldn't affect us, but they do. Uh, Reed and I did the right thing, sat, and I learned a lot about photography from March through the 1st of June. So about the middle of June, I decided, Reed and I decided if we'd had enough setting and doing nothing. So we decided to head west. Uh, we both love it. We both love the big sky. We both love the big landscapes. So we jumped in the car, headed west. It took us about three days worth of travel to get to the state of Utah. Utah, luckily, had not shut down, had not had to shut down because of the coronavirus. So it was open, uh, the restaurants were open, and the motels were open, and we were actually felt appreciated when we pulled into a place. They were, they were glad to see tourists, they were glad to see people out traveling. So this trip was a little bit different than others. We, uh, we spent four days in the area around Kanab, Utah. Uh, Kanab is, it, is sort of the gateway into Zion National Park. We could travel through Zion National Park two or three times on the way to different areas. Uh, Zion was literally overran with people. They had the main canyon shut down, so everybody was on the main highway, which is Highway 9 that runs through Zion. So we used it as a path to travel from point A to point B. We were going to the Kolob Canyon, which is an outspur out of Zion, but it, it was closed for COVID, of course, so we did get to do Kolob Terrace, which is another highway that is on the backside of Zion. We did do that. We drove up Hurricane Mesa, which is a large mesa in the area around Zion, where the Air Force and some of the Army stuff, where they actually have a 20,000-foot runway on top of it, where they launch rockets so that they could figure out how to eject pilots at greater than mock speed. The mock speed is the greater than the speed of sound. It was it was an interesting trip. We get to do, we get to, did get to ride to the top of the Mesa. We did not get to see the runway. It's all closed. So we couldn't get to it, but we did have an interesting trip there. We spent four days in Canal, a little red cabin there. We enjoyed it greatly. The cabins were all new. There's 114 of them in one little area, but once you're in your cabin, you don't hear anybody, you don't know anything's going on, so we enjoyed that. Then we moved down the, down the road to Torrey, Utah, which is the gateway to Capitol Reef. We spent four days there, and we explored the area around Capitol Reef. Then we moved down the road a little further to a little town called Green River, Utah. The Green River runs through the center of town, so... It was a interesting little little area, the San Rafael Swell, which is a pretty big geological anomaly, runs through it. I'll, you'll see the videos. You'll see some of the stuff that, that, that goes on around it. I made over 10,000 photographs, uh, probably over 100 hours worth of video. So I'll start compiling those by the areas as we travel through and putting those out on YouTube, and I'll post those up on Facebook as I do. Uh, we enjoyed the trip. Uh, we had hardly any issues. Uh, getting to and from Utah sometimes was a struggle. Uh, New Mexico, most of the off-ramps of the interstate were closed. The only places you could really get off and on or get anything to eat or get any gas, particularly in New Mexico, some places in Arizona was uh, the truck stops, and the truck stops did a great job. I can't complain about any of them. The Love Travel Shops, the Pilot uh, Truck Stops were great, uh, and they had food, they had, you know, gas and all the necessities you needed as you travel across the United States. We came back through Colorado, there was a lot of road construction through Colorado, so I didn't get to stop, didn't get to take many photographs, um, so we enjoyed our trip. Uh, hopefully you'll see some good pictures. You'll get to see some stuff you hadn't seen before. We did go to a lot of state parks while in Utah, which is something we don't normally do. 
Rita and I have a habit of if we're riding down the road and we see a sign that says so and so historical site or so and so museum or so and so canyon, we will turn down that road and, and, and often spend a day just wandering. And that's what makes the vacations or our trips great, it's just the wandering time. So I do like the night sky. There was a major fire while we were there, so any star or astrophotography, if you will, the photographs, I didn't get to do any of the, the, the night sky was either, was either cloudy or filled with smoke. I did get a few moon pictures while we were there towards the end of the trip as some of the smoke cleared, but luckily the clouds would clear. I'd get the moon shot and, and, and move on, so you'll see probably a couple of those as we go through. I did get some good astrophotography once I got home, but it was the right timing while I was out west, but this guy just did not cooperate between the smoke and the clouds. So hopefully you'll enjoy our videos. I think I've rambled enough, so I'll post some a few photos to go with this one so you'll get an idea of what we did. Hope you enjoy.